Convert Pro is a WordPress plugin that allows you to create email opt-ins, uh, but it does a few other things. As we can see here from the Convert Pro sales page, it's an email opt-in and lead generation plugin uh, for getting new su subscribers, but it also lets you do uh, some other cool things like pop-ups. So you got multi-step pop-ups, uh, exit intent pop-ups, on-click pop-ups. So if somebody clicks a button on your page, you can have a slide in or a modal pop-up or a bar that appears. You can A-B test, so you can try different variations of uh, a pop-up uh, to see which one works best. Works on mobile and desktop. And you can also target based on times and audiences and you can get really deep with this. But I'm just gonna show you how to uh, use Convert Pro as a simple pop-up to display a message to users. This is not a free plugin. It's a premium plugin. There are other options, but there's none that are quite as versatile as Convert Pro. So let's get straight into it. I'll just show you how to create a simple message uh, on a website. So in the Convert Pro dashboard, we have uh, three options. The, what we need right now is create new. And You've got various different options for pop-ups. Modal pop-up is probably the most common. That's one that appears sort of in the middle of the page as an overlay. I won't go through the whole lot, but they, they all have their different features. Modal pop-up is gonna work best for us here. So I'm gonna click on that. And then we can pick some pre-written templates here, which aren't really anything special. Uh, so I usually just pick the blank template to start from scratch. It's a lot easier. So let's uh, call this one video consultation because this is a message we want to put up. You can call this anything you like. Okay, that's a little bit wide. So I'll click this uh, little cogwheel down the bottom and maybe make it just 500 wide. Yeah, that's probably better. We get a blank canvas with Convert Pro. A lot of other pop-up and lead generation tools are quite fixed and rigid in how you add content. With, with Convert Pro, you have a blank canvas. You can do anything you like, essentially. So to add a heading or an image or content, we use the elements, uh, form and button, and also shapes as well. Uh, in this case, we're just gonna be really simple and put a heading in here. And you'll see there's some guidelines that appear when you're moving it around to sort of show you that that's, that's centralized. And um, you can also inherit the uh, the font family or you can change it and have whatever you like on this pop-up. But it's best to keep it inherited. So that's the same um, font as you use on the rest of the site. So let's say what we want here is um, this message here, video consultations are available. And I'm just going to drag this over to the left here so that it's more kind of spaced out. Looks good. Let's make this capitalized here. Um, yeah, that's good. And then we have a bit of content to go below that. So I'll just click done and then I'll pull across the paragraph and we edit directly in there. So uh, if I want to centralize this text, so I'm going to click this centralized to align it in the center. And um, yep, I use the guidelines to kind of give me uh, an indication of where it is. I'm going to pull this right down and maybe make the font a little bit bigger. This should really be a slider, but at the moment you just have to manually type the font size. I always put a close um, image or a close button. You can do uh, actually both here, red. So I'll just put that there um, and I'll just make this really simple. From here, you can do lots of different things like put images and buttons to send people into different places. We might even put a, a button at the bottom because um, we're, we're seeing a, a message here to use the contact page, okay? So maybe it's gonna be a good idea to put in a button uh, for, um, for, the, for the contact page. So we might use this here and I'll put contact 
basically change the colors here. So I'll just make that um, maybe red for the text and the background color is, is white. So we can also do background hover color. Let's put that as, um, as black. Yeah. Okay. So I want that border to be, um, not green anyway. I will make that black, so, or red. I mean, let's make it red, same red as the other one. Uh, how's that look? Yeah, that's fine. Yes, we just need to add an, a URL for when somebody clicks on the contact button. Uh, it's not so clear, but if you check under action and you check the field action, which is, this is the field, um, the flat button field, we click here to select which one we want. So. We're not submitting anything, it's not a form. We're just literally going to a URL. So we'll click that, type the URL, and then we can type in the uh, the URL. Um, we don't need anything else, and click Done. Configure to set some settings for when this appears. So we probably don't want it to appear immediately. One second is good enough for two seconds. Let's just leave it on one second. You don't want it on zero seconds really. But you also have other options like exit intent. So that's when somebody goes to click off the screen or close the window, it would appear. Um, you can set it to when they scroll. At the end of a blog post, uh, if you've got ad block detection, you can pop this up. So obviously the content should say something else. Um, the visitors, uh, it can you can you can change this to first time or returning visitors. So there's really a lot you can do here. But once that's done, um, and we've configured it to appear after a few seconds, we just click save, and then click make public. So it's published. So now, if we uh, if we open up the website, there we go. And when we click the contact page. We go to contact.